I expect fun. <laughs> There's a lot of funny lines, um, great music, really fun music. What I love to tell the most, the story of a clownfish who really loved his kid. When faced with the impossible, do you know what he did? We'll start at the beginning, and soon enough you'll know, a modern great adventure in a glory had to go. That's one dedicated father. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. The costumes are gorgeous. The set, it's colorful, and the, the lines are funny. It, it's a great show all the way around. I've always loved the movie Finding Nemo. I think it's a fun movie that people of all ages uh, can really enjoy uh, the humor of, the storyline. When I found out that it was Finding Nemo, I really wanted to be Nemo because I thought I'd be good as like the toddler like... character. I wanted to be more <laughs> Um so I, as I, I'm, if you ask people, they would say probably say I'm a little bit of the comedic person. Yeah. And I'm very like you know like oh look at me laugh at me. So I, uh, I guess everybody is just like you are Dory. I don't see it personally, but you know. <laughs> what you are. Do so you forget Dory. stuff? Huh? You forget stuff? Well, what? I mean, where are we? <laughs> Oops. I didn't know that. Uh, we should, we should that before. I didn't know Jace had such a good voice. Like, I feel like there's a bunch of kids in the musical that, like, previous years I never would have thought would have been in the musical, but now that they are in the musical, I'm, like, blown away by that. It's like, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fun how we get to chase Bruce around the whole entire stage. And I just think the lines are pretty good for the shark song. I'm a huge theater kid, so obviously I had to do this. I love singing, I love musicals, and I wanted to give it a shot for myself. In my opinion, I did it because I thought when I watched the Susical and I heard all the Susical interviews, I thought they were lying. I thought they were like, it was a hoax. <laughs> so I wanted to see how it actually was, and in my opinion, it's great. It's like really fun. And I thought I wouldn't do it, but I actually did because I love singing and I love dancing. Yeah. 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 The show week, it's always the most fun because you get to use your costumes, you get to use your microphone, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's really stressful, but very yeah. um, amazing. Yeah. It's really stressful, but it's fun, and I love the music. But yeah, if you're stage fright, like, do it. This is gonna help you not be stage right anymore. Like, even though you have to do course, course is fun, and so is doing musical and yeah. like being with all your friends and stuff, and singing and dancing, and that's what yeah. I love about musical. And it can also boost your confidence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This show is what we would call a costume-heavy show. So it is um, intense because all the characters are some sort of animal. The kids version has all animal characters. Most of them, of course, are under the sea type animals, but we do have pelicans and seagulls. Um, so that made it very difficult because you can't just grab something out of your closet. You know, it had to be very imaginative and creative. Um, because this is a mostly new show, I had to imagine some of it on my own because there weren't a lot of other productions of Finding Nemo kids out there to reference. Um, we did a lot with like accessories headpieces. Um, the seahorses have a really cool, I don't have one here, but they have a really cool tail going down their back. Um, the sharks have these amazing shark heads that my sister made for us um, to give them that like shark look without being a shark. Um, so it took a lot of creativity and a lot of um, thought and time on my part to get that all to come together. We even have these um, sea turtle shells here that one of the moms made for us to give them that look, but also to be comfortable that they can still dance and still do what they need to do in it. That just elevates their performance when they're in the costumes. They can feel the character, they can embody it a little bit better. Um, I think it brings their excitement level up, their energy level up. The first day, uh, when we get done with auditions, even during auditions, we talk about the fact that we're here together as a team. And we're gonna cheer each other on. If somebody makes a mistake, 
it's okay, we're human, this happens. Help them through that. Encourage your friends and peers to, to keep practicing and keep trying and it's gonna get better and better. Get ready to clean the tank, okay? Try that again, Ava. Okay, Yank, you must be getting ready to clean the tank, just like we planned. Good. So I think it's many things that kind of work together and um, create this sense of like, this is something you should do. You should at least try it. This is your chance to try musical theater. And, uh, you know, if not now, when? When you get to junior, senior high, so many other activities and extracurriculars come up and you might not have the option to do it or, or the time in your schedule. And then we have a whole slew of volunteers this year. Oh, the parents have been just fantastic. We've had parents who have helped us make costumes, uh, build sets, um, put together our jellyfish umbrellas, um, all sorts of things. Really been so helpful to have all these parents uh, volunteer their time. The junior senior high staff are just phenomenal in that they can step into the moment and I give them a little guideline of what I need them to do and they take that and, and kind of run with it and um, the younger kids really look up to these junior senior high students and respect them and um, try to do their best for them as well. And I think we've really found that this whole uh, experience, these kids have done a really nice job of really working together and cheering each other on. Always try the sixth grade musical. Always try new things. Always do your best. This is like the only thing I look forward to during the day. <laughs> like, like it's like social studies. <laughs> science, Sorry, Mr. Privy. science. Uh, another test. <laughs> um, Twenty million tests. Uh, uh, math. Are we done yet? <laughs> ELA. Another book. <laughs> and then there's like the five minutes left of school. Oh my gosh, it's almost musical. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Definitely come because come it's hundred percent. You have come. to figure out. Does my Marlin ever find Nemo? Cause like it, it's, it's, diff think it's different than the mu it's different than the movie, so you don't know. Yeah. Dory could find Nemo, and I could die. You never know. <laughs> I just think that it's like a good experience for everybody to like see this, and I feel like it's good for people with younger kids to come as well to like encourage them to be in the musical and just for some entertainment. And it's only like 40 minutes, so it's not like it's gonna yeah. take up a bunch of your time. It's a really fun show. I think it's great for the whole family. Um, anyone of any age can enjoy it. Um, and we've just had a great time working with this group. They're full of a lot of energy and excitement um, and a lot of talent. And we'd uh, encourage you to come on out Thursday night at 7 p.m., bring your canned food item, and come see a fabulous show. <laughs>